Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back. Doing some magic. Magic. Friday. Friday magic. Um, so today we're playing some modern. Um, I've got kind of a It's not a very good deck, <laughs> but it's it's a kind of a it's it's like revolt and kind of energy counter sort of nonsense and it uses the cool combination of Norin of the Wary with any card that has revolt written on it because you cast the card with revolt, Norin gets scared of it disappears, and then when that card with Revolt enters the battlefield, you oh, get look, to Revolt something it. left the battlefield. Yeah, so, so that's, it's kind of a cool interaction. Uh, it's, it's not very super competitive, but it's, uh, it's definitely cool, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I don't know what I'm calling the deck yet. Uh, it will have a name that you can see that'll be cooler than anything I can come up with right now. So that's what I'm doing. My deck has 43 lands. It, it, I think this might be the most fun deck you've ever made. <laughs> Because it's literally just like seismic assault and yeah. throw so my hand a, at you. This is a <laughs> seismic assault swans of Brian a, a goal deck. Basically, so whenever swans gets damaged, you draw a card. Yep. Seismic assault. You throw lands at swans until you have enough lands to mm -hmm. kill the opponent. And then be, it's playing so many lands that we're just running treasure hunt till the edition. Yeah. And then there's a few other one of spells that you sometimes need, sometimes don't mm -hmm. throw. Them. It's based on a list that actually won a. I think it was a TCG player tournament a while back. Hmm. Couldn't find Days Undoing for the deck, so it's missing that. But other than that, it's pretty similar. All right. And to decide who goes first, we have this uh, crooked little dice here. Um, I, I, I think this might be biased towards one because six is yeah. the biggest, but I don't know. We'll see. So, give that a roll. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you got <laughs> maybe not. On top. And a two. Well, neither of us got a one, which is something special. <laughs> no, it looks like that's yeah, the case. It, it should be. Anyway, so I will go first, and we will see you in game one. Alrighty, game one. Show my hands. That's what I have. Good. These cards really stick to the playmats. Yeah, after the nice mat, the uh, dragon shields. And I've got... Those. Okay. So, I'm going to lead with a Sacred Foundry untapped, going to 18. That's signed, even. It is signed. And uh, we're going to go for a little scaredy cat, nor in the wary. Pass the turn. Draw. Scalding Tarn. Crack that going to 19. Steam Vins tapped, and your go. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Well, <laughs> not super needed. But we'll go for a Snow-Covered Forest. By the way, they're just snow covered because I like snow covered. No, uh, no good reason for it. And we will cast a Green Wheel Liberator. So, uh, what this does, like the sequencing here, whenever a player plays a spell, or in modern terms, casts a spell, or a creature attacks, you remove it from the game and return it to play under the owner's control at end of turn. So, while this is being cast, it's still on the stack. So this gets exiled, which counts as leaving the battlefield. Then this enters the battlefield, and it enters with two counters because a permanent I control left the battlefield this turn. Pretty good. Yeah. So, then I will pass the turn to you. He comes back. Because he's not afraid anymore. Untap. Draw for turn. Shiv and Reef. Colorless I go for? Yes, for the colorless. A treasure hunt. Yep. It's gonna find us. Norn's scared of the treasure hunt. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. Molten Vortex. Alright. The younger brother of Seismic Assault. So, it's your go. I'm gonna have to discard. Keeping one. Discarding Scalding Tarn and that Molten Vortex. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. That's reasonable. Right. One more. Oh. <laughs> can't can't do the mathematics. Um Hmm. Do I do that or do I do this? I think first I will go to attacks. So I will attack you for four and Norn gets scared. He's he can attack with him too, and then he'll get scared of himself. It's attacking. true. It's true. But there's really no point. 
take it going to 15. Okay. I mean, there is a point. You, if you need revolt, you could attack with him. True, true. But you could also just cast the thing that yeah. has revolt. <laughs> I don't think there's a land that has no. revolt on it, so. No. Um, let's see. I guess the enchantment, like, one of those cases could be a thing. But for the most majority of the time. No. Yeah. Yeah. I will crack that and get snow-covered forests. Then, I'm only going to shuffle a little bit, because we're going to cast a Renegade Rallier, and since something left this turn, two things actually, I can bring back Windswept Heath, which I'll then crack again, go to 16, to fetch out. Um, oh, I did that in the wrong sequence. I don't think it matters overly, but... Um... Oh no! No, okay. Never mind. Only had one snow-covered plains anyway. I was meant. Ah. I meant to get plains to cast this and then get forest with the second one, but it doesn't ah. really matter. Yeah, I was gonna say you had the white sword. Yeah, so that's not the case. No, I was just when I was deciding which lands to get. The reason I'm uh, not getting shock lands immediately too is because if you can seismic assault and like treasure hunt, you could probably just kill me with throwing lands in my face. So. There's that. And we're going to go for a green belt Rampager. And uh, since we do not have enough energy, it gives us one energy and returns to our hand. And I'll pass the turn. Also really good at triggering revolt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. Mountain. Seismic Assault. Yep. Oh, no one's scared of that. It's pretty scary. I'd say so. And it's your go. Yeah, untap. Well, Norn comes back first, and then we untap. And draw for turn. Okay. I guess this was tapped for Maddie. So. Ah, uh, yes. 14. Indeed. Um... Well, I will go to attacks... And we'll attack for four, five, six, seven, and Norn can just be scared. Gonna throw an old mountain at that. Sure. Take four, go to ten. Okay. Then I think what we'll do, go for the elephant again. Get another counter on that. And then we'll go for the elephant again. This time we can afford to pay it, so we will do so. And I will also play a Green Wheel Liberator with two counters. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. I mean, if there's ever a card that was going to be on the top, it's that one. So, tapping this for a blue. Yep. Swans. Well, that'll probably do it. So... Two damage of my swans. Yep. Which gets prevented, and then I draw cards equal to the damage dealt. So I get two. Two damage. Draw two. And just repeat this a few times. Hopefully we don't peter out. Seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, with 43 lands, it's... Probably not the case. I need eight lands. Got six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Wow. <laughs> two non lands. Again. <laughs> I mean, as long as you don't run out of ones you can throw at swans, yeah. I think you'll be fine. Yeah, the only time that would have really bricked me was right at the beginning. Yeah. We're back at seven. And that should be enough. We're at 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. See, isn't this the most fun deck you've ever seen? <laughs> you got me. It goes zero. 
I came, I came close. I came close. You did come pretty close. I mean, turn three assault, turn four swans. Yeah, hard the to top beat. deck turns the out. The top top deck swans. I think that. Yeah. It, I had another treasure hunt, but mm-hmm. it just decided to hand me the win. <laughs> anyway, so that was game one, and we will see you in game two. Alrighty, game two. Shamans. So I've got bit of those. Go ahead. And we've got those. Whoop. Okay, so I'm gonna lead with a stomping around untapped, going to eighteen. And no scaredy cat this game, but we've got uh, Green Belt Rampager. So one energy. Go ahead. Rough return. Temple of Epiphany. You. Scrying one to the bottom. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. That's reasonable. Um, I'm gonna go for a windswept heath. Cracking that. Going to 17. And I think, although it might be a mistake in the long run, we'll just get a snow covered plains. Wanna kind of keep my life total reasonable. And that will go for Hidden Herbalists, since we have just Heath Leave, we'll add two green. And we'll use one to green belt up to two energy, and the other to green belt paying the two energy. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. We have landed... An elephant. Serum visions. Yep. Draw a card. With the nice uh, <laughs> PG-13 Try art. Who? <laughs> oh, that's... Switched. Like that. And a mountain. Okay. Enter go. Yeah, this art... Yeah, just... it's pretty... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's one word for it. Draw a card. Um, well, we're gonna attack for five. With our elephant and fifteen. His owner, master, that sort of thing, I guess. Um let's see. Then we'll play a snow covered mountain and cast a voltaic brawler, which gets us two energy. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop return. Swift water cliffs. Going to 16. Yep. Enter go. Hmm. Untap. Draw a card. Well, not, not great, but I guess. So we will attack and we will put his trigger on his deck to pump him by paying an energy. Yep. Oh, I actually wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, so four, five, six, seventy nine. Go to seven. Hmm. Well, kind of unfortunate lands to have for all these, but I think sometimes you just do what you have to do. Renegade Rallier for no value. And a uh, tap yeah. Sacred Foundry. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Cards in hand. Two. I'm facing down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we might have just been a bit too slow this time. Treasure hunt. Going to get us. Apparently a lot of epiphanies. <laughs> a seismic salt. But, I don't think that's going to do it. You'd need a couple of lightning bolts, I think, to stay alive. Yeah, so we've only got the one lightning bolt in the deck. Ah. So a temple. And we'll just, we'll just cry that to the bottom. <laughs> Enter go. Alright. Untap. We'll keep. Draw a card. That's a cool one, I guess. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Discard these. 
Ah, yes. And, oh. <laughs> you even had it, too. I had the swans, yeah. but... Crazy. Um, let's see. Yeah, you had enough damage that I couldn't just play the swans yeah. and chump one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I've got plenty, so I can have a little fun, I suppose. Um, do that. To do that. Best hand. To do that. Yeah, that's kind of sweet. All right, we'll cast a Restoration Angel, and we'll use Restoration Angel to exile hidden herbalists. And then he comes back and sends a permanent <laughs> left, which was himself, <laughs> um, to green. And we'll use one of the green to cast Narnum Renegade with Revolt, just because we can. And then I'll attack you for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we will pay to pump. Because why not? Dead. Woo! I also had a spare Renegade Rally. I had two of those in my hand, so I figured ah, I can throw one away. Just, just for uh, to get in extra beats, Probably yeah, worth it. And doing that was what. Yeah, it was a good idea. From being able to block, it's a good plan. All right, so that was game two, and we will see you in game three. All right, game three. Right, you're up first, Nemesis. Yes. <laughs> so we've got. Those. Whoop. And for myself. Ooh. That kind of made a little smiley face with it. Alrighty. Kick us off. 21. Alright. Simple. To the point. I like yes. it. <laughs> Draw a card. Um, let's go for... Windswept Heath crack, and we will go to 17 to get a Stomping Ground. Untapped. I'm tapping it because I'm going to use it, obviously. And we will go for a Narnum Renegade. And since Windswept Heath left, he comes in with a counter. Pass turn. Kind of like a Curt Ape. Kind of. But with Death Touch, with death which touch. is useless in this matchup, but in other matchups, Drop ooh through. boy. <laughs> Marginally less useless. Serum Visions. Yep. Draw. Scry 2. Neither of those are very exciting. So, back as they were. Blood Saint Meyer. Enter go. Unzap. Draw a card. Why did I just... Okay. <laughs> I guess guess I get three of those. Oh, we will attack for two. Nineteen. Okay. Then I'll play a snow-covered forest and a voltaic brawler, getting two energy. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Crack this, going eighteen. Finding a very nice mountain. That is a very nice mountain. Very purdy. Luckily had 20 unique foil mountains for this deck. Oh, really? Wow, 20 mountains. <laughs> That's a lot of basic mountains. <laughs> Includes play sets with a lot of dual lands, yeah. <laughs> And I guess that is a lot of lands. We're going to bolt that guy. Deal. Untap. Draw for turn. Wandering Fumarole. Yep. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. <laughs> okay. Um. So. We will attack for two. Sixteen. And. You may have murdered him, but his essence will live on in the form of this elephant. So we'll pay his the That's two the energy elephant. that he made to make this elephant. And we will also go for a Norn the Wary. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. You don't want to get Norn scared of the elephant? Nah. <laughs> He'll be scared of whatever you do. Which seems to be a swans. Swans. Ah! <laughs> Enter go. 
Oh, okay now. <laughs> Untap. Truck hard. So, if a source would deal damage, prevent that damage, and then I would draw as many draw cards. cards equal to that. So if you have a lightning bolt, yeah, it's now an ancestral recall. Yeah. So I can't kill it with the <laughs> things. Wow, was that really my draw? Jeez, that's get a full set of cards or something. Pretty close. <laughs> it's a duplicate city here. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sure. I will attack with those. I will block that. And take two. Deal. So I get to draw, so you three, draw three cards. I get to draw three cards. He does he does die though, right? Like yeah. it doesn't prevent the damage that, Um I think it just prevents damage dealt yeah, to swans. Just dealt prevent yeah. the damage that'd be dealt to yeah. it. So one But you traded that two, elephant for three cards. Three. So you you somehow built yourself a green ancestral recall. It's true. <laughs> And uh you probably shouldn't have let me do that, because now I can go tune with ether. Which gets us two energy, in case we ever get another elephant. And that will fetch. Do, 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 do. This is basically just in here for the elephant. Snow covered plains. Also the voltaic brawler. True, true. Though I think Voltaic Brawler is more in there also he, for the elephant. Yeah, he and he can hand he can handle but himself. Extra, too. Yeah, extra energy. Yeah. So I was good. Uh, also I'm not running that many lands out of like that's just the way mm -hmm. it works. You get to cut that. But now we get to Path to Exile <gasps> this once. Because we drew a path and an attune, which let us get a white source, which is pretty nice. And that's I fun. think that's it. There's so many choices. Was it in my hand? No, it's not. It should be. It's <laughs> my white bordered one. Ah. <laughs> I'm wondering what you're doing. I'm like, I'm sure you have enough. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't find a mountain. This hand is still just weird. I'm... Really weird. I'm so confused. It should be. Oh, no, it's right. Wow. Yeah, I already have it out on the field, so we'll just get that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, I suppose so. Uh, yeah. That's it. Untap. Drop return. Swans. Ah, okay. That's why I felt like casting the one, because I had backups. <laughs> and the steam vents tapped. It's your go. Untap. Fearless. Draw a card. Okay. Hmm. You're at 14? Yes. Well, you let me get in last time. Let's see. <laughs> Going for two. Nah, I'll take it. Going 12. Okay. You know, if you had all your lightning yeah. bolts, you don't have the red to cast them, so. It's true. Not worried about that yet. We're gonna cast a Renegade Rallier, which scares Norn before he enters. And well, actually, he... he got scared from the attack. Oh yeah, true. He did get scared from the attack. But, in any case, he left. He's, he's, uh, he's gone out of there. And I think we'll get back an elephant, and we'll pay the two energy. I did have the energy for it. And I sure did. For tune. And then we'll go for a wooded foothills and pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. It's your go. Really? I was I was really expecting to just probably die there. Um, I mean, I don't really need to save that for anything. Crack that, go to 16. For Temple Garden. Actually, you know what? Stomping Ground sounds a little better. Because we're a little short on red. Not that there's that much red to need. Ok, 
Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Go to attacks. Yoink. Norn goes away. Hmm. Activate Wandering Fumarill. Sure. This is a 1-4. Yep. And you can pay 0 to make him a 4-1? Yes. Yep. Since damage isn't on the stack anymore. Sure. Doesn't do too much, just allow me to trade. So, we'll block the Rallier with him. Okay. Do I give you the three cards? Yeah, I'm going to give you three cards. Give me three cards. Letting two in. Um... Hmm. I think before damage, then, we're going to flash in a Restoration Angel, and we're going to flicker the Rallier. And since the Rallier and Norn left this turn, his ability gets to be used, and I'll get a Voltaic Brawler. Um, and then that happens, so this dies... And I draw three cards, and you take two. Going to ten. Come on, live top decks. Like a treasure hunt or something will probably do it. Mm hmm. Um. Question is, there's not really a ton I can do after that. <laughs> do you have to discard? I might have to. Uh, let's see. No, no, because I can just play a land, I suppose. Um, you know, we might as well, snow-covered forest, tune with aether, might as well thin a little, replace that for land, snow-covered mountain, and I think that's it for me, it's past turn. Untap. Drop a turn. Your go. Hmm. This is one of the downsides of having so many lands. <laughs> Drawing that many lands. <laughs> you, had a, you had like ample swans this game, but... Uh, and, and thinning doesn't really yeah. matter when the majority of my deck is still lands. I suppose it's true. Um, okay, draw for turn. Oh yeah, she's in the deck. I forgot about that. We never got to see a monkey this game, did we? No. Or match, I suppose. Um. Play a Rallier, which scares Norn. And since something left, we get back an elephant. Um. And I'll pay two for the elephant. Yes. It's a mandatory trigger. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. It is, indeed. Um, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you can live this turn. It's not like Norn could have attacked anyway, so. Yeah, I will attack with all these men. And I will use that. So that would trample over one if I block that. But it blocks... No. I think it's better to do that. I guess first. Yeah. Animate this. Sure. And then block... Like that. Taking six. Okay, are you going to flip this to trade, or are you just no, going to... No, just going to... Yeah, as get it. in the way. Okay. So, then, yeah, four, five, six, and I draw three. Yes. And nothing that else. Dies. This dies, yes. One, two, three. Jeez, you'd think I'm playing the Seismic Swans deck with the <laughs> amount of lands I'm seeing off these draws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm damaging swans to draw a bunch of lands. It's weird. Um, okay, well... Do I just go for that? Have I played a land this turn? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Um. Jeez. 
All these things. So we'll play Snow Covered Forest. Go for a Green Wheel Liberator. Comes in with counters, because a lot of things left this turn. Um, first of which was Norn. Yes. <laughs> Always the first to leave the party. And we'll discard a Wooded Foothills, I suppose. Pass the turn. Come on. Untap. You have a lot of live draws. Yes. That was one of them? Oh, was it the live draw? Treasure hunt. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so there's a little excitement left. By the way, that scares Norrin. Yeah. <laughs> scares the pants off him. Guess he's land now. Come on. Did it. Did it, did it, did it. Did it. That probably does it. <laughs> That'll probably do it. So, cast seismic salt. Yep. And we've got a lot of lands here. I mean, you only need eight. So, I'm pretty sure you could do it. So, you only need do one it. more. Yeah. <laughs> so, two damage. Two damage. Yep. We came close. Came very close. Two damage. And that is eight lands. All right. Not often you die with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 power. And seven cards in hand. 20 power, seven cards in hand against one blocker. But I guess against this deck, you sometimes do. So that's it for that. I go to zero. It was an amusing game. It was, actually. It was kind of amusing. That was a pretty clutch top deck, I yeah. must say. I was really hoping for an Anger of the Gods, because I have one copy. Ooh, Because yeah. it's draw three still. Yeah, yeah. But it'd clear most of your board, too. Yeah, it would basically, it would kill everything but the elephant, really. So, that was pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. I'm actually glad you drew the treasure hunt instead of just drawing a seismic assault, because it yeah. added a little fun to it. Could have been anything. Could, it, could even be a seismic assault. Yeah, and the double swans <laughs> drawing so many cards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Weird game. Anyway, so that was this matchup. Um, I'm going to try another version of this deck at some point that has black and uses, like, Fatal Push mm -hmm. and that snake that gives you extra counters. Yeah, because Fatal Push is cool. always going to be live. Yeah, yeah. As long as you have a Norin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's some interesting interesting ways you could take this deck. So, we're going to explore them in the future. So, we'll see you next week in Flashback, and I think next week is Patreon. Yes. Also. So, stay tuned for that. Goodbye. Bye.